What's good YouTube? It's your girl Indigo coming back to you with another video today. So today we are going to talk about the coronavirus known as COVID-19. We need to learn on this how we can prevent and prepare. Are y'all ready? The coronavirus is impacting my life. Kids in my school are dying, okay? You're gonna be serious, Mercy. Candy, no, for real. How does it affect you for real? Okay. The coronavirus has not affected me in any way because I'm black. I don't get it, you know? We immune to this, okay? We can't die from that. Um, I am so scared of coronavirus. I don't want to get catch a cold with my coronavirus. I don't want to God. I don't want to die because of God made me special and he made all of us special. I should go to the world and I just want to say like, you feel me? I stay in Chicago, you know, and it's like, this 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 coronavirus. I'm just, I don't understand. I'm just so scared, you feel me? Like, I feel like... I feel like I can't die yet. I just turned 20. I can't die without dancing for Chris Brown first. And I just feel as though it ain't gonna happen. Cause y'all keep eating bats and shit. And I don't understand. They had a problem. The health authorities have activated the most serious response level after an outbreak of a new type of viral pneumonia in central China. A rapidly growing number of people were developing a dry cough and fever before getting pneumonia. And for some, it turned fatal. Doctors have named the disease COVID-19, or Coronavirus Disease 2019, indicating that a type of virus is causing the illness. When they tried to trace its origin, they found a likely source. This food market in Wuhan. Out of the first 41 patients, 27 had been here. It wasn't conclusive evidence, but Chinese officials quickly shut down the market. They had seen this happen before at a place just like this. The health officials are trying to get a grip on an alarming outbreak of SARS. The virus originated in mainland China. It spread across the country. The disease had been festering for months in southern China. In 2002, a coronavirus had emerged at a very similar market in southern China. It eventually reached 29 countries and killed nearly 800 people. Now, 18 years later, this coronavirus is in at least 71 countries and has already killed over 3,100 people. So what do these markets have to do with the coronavirus outbreak, and why is it happening in China? A lot of the viruses that make us sick actually originate in animals. Some of the viruses that cause the flu come from birds and pigs. HIV AIDS comes from chimpanzees. The deadly Ebola virus likely originates in bats. And in the case of the 2019 coronavirus, there's some evidence it went from a bat to a pangolin before infecting a human. While viruses are very good at jumping between species, it's rare for a deadly one to make this journey all the way to humans. That's because it would need all these hosts to encounter each other at some point. That's where the Wuhan market comes in. It's a wet market. A kind of place where live animals are slaughtered and sold for consumption. It was not a surprise at all, and I think that it was not a surprise to many scientists. The coronavirus outbreak in Europe is rapidly intensifying, and the number of infections across the continent is also rising fast. Italy, the worst affected country, is beginning a second day of lockdowns. Death rose by a third on Tuesday. We're now looking at 631 people. There have now been more than 10,000 people infected with the virus in Italy. Here in the UK, a health minister has tested positive for the virus. Treat this like a flu. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. We have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that get better just by, you know, sitting around and even going to work. Some of them go to work. If you are sick or not feeling well, stay home. The Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. This is their new hoax. We must put politics aside, stop the partisanship, and unify together as one nation. And the whiplash doesn't stop there. Minutes after the president said last night that cargo would be restricted from Europe, causing the markets to quiver, the White House said actually, no, 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 cargo will not actually be Restricted. Good morning and welcome to Morning Joe. It is Thursday, March 12th. Along with Joe, Willie and me, we have MSNBC contributor Mike Barnacle, White House reporter for the Associated Press, Jonathan Lemire, 
and historian and author of Soul of America and Rogers Professor of the Presidency at Vanderbilt University, John Meacham. He's an NBC News. The number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 now stands at almost 120,000. 80,000 of those in China, more than 4,200 people have died. experiencing it right now. Clay Bentley, he's living with coronavirus. He's currently under quarantine in a hospital room in Rome, Georgia, just outside Atlanta. He recently posted this message to his loved ones. Didn't look good. <coughs> Didn't look good for a while. And it's been a hard road. But I'm here to tell you that when you got the word of God to stand on, there ain't no weapon formed against you can prosper. This is a really serious problem that we have to take seriously. I mean, people always say, well, the flu, you know, the flu does this, the flu does that. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. Sure. This has a mortality of 10 times that. There are other important facets that we do want to cover for you. Efforts to contain the outbreak are greatly expanding. Over the weekend, Saudi Arabia and Italy enacted restrictions on travel, Iran suspending flights to Europe, and the U.S. formally warning against any cruise ship travel. Health officials here in the United States are reporting more than 500 confirmed cases now of the coronavirus, and the number of people that have died from the virus here in the United States is stands at 22. More than 30 states have now announced infections as well as the District of Columbia. American officials are still playing at the very low end of the kinds of interventions in daily life that may be tried at some point, that may be necessary to try to steer this pandemic away from its worst case trajectories. In recent days, we have seen Italy, for example, go from trying to quarantine the whole northern part of the country to ordering a nationwide quarantine of everyone in the country, tens of millions of people ordered by their government, all Italian citizens ordered by their government to stay inside and avoid gatherings of any kind, weddings and funerals banned. Well, as of today, the Italian government has gone a step further, ordering the closure of all stores of every kind other than pharmacies and food stores. Think about what the Italian economy is going to look like within days. The upward curve of the outbreak in Italy, just looking at the raw numbers there, shows you why the government there is taking these severely draconian, these draconian measures, right? But the, the upward curve of the epidemic in Italy is also a cautionary tale, particularly for us, about what exponential growth really looks like in an epidemic where the virus is such that every infected person, on average, is infecting two to three others. The math with an epidemic like that is terrible. It's devastating. I mean, look at Italy. January 31st, Italy had two people known to be infected. Within a week, February 6th, that had risen to three people. Two weeks after that, they were up to 17 people. Three days later, by February 24th, 219 people. Four days later, February 28th, 821 cases. Just over a week later, March 6th, 3,916 cases. Four days later, as of yesterday, it's 10,149 cases. That's yesterday. Today, it's up 12,462. Let's get to it. It has to do with COVID-19. And the World Health Organization has just declared uh, a global uh, coronavirus it is a pandemic at this point. Let's talk about what that means. The criteria of a pandemic describes the worldwide spread of a new disease, involves a new virus against which most people do not yet have any immunity. Virus can infect people easily and spreads person to person. We are seeing those things. It implies efforts to contain an outbreak in a region or a country have failed. A pandemic describes how widespread an illness is, not how necessarily lethal it is. The WHO has said it is tightening its criteria, criteria for classifying an outbreak as a pandemic and is working on a new definition as it relates to coronavirus. Outbreak has been declared a pandemic. Here's the WHO earlier. We're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. More than 118,000 cases in 114 countries. 
and 4,291 people have lost their lives. Thousands more are fighting for their lives in hospitals. In the days and weeks ahead, we expect to see the number of cases, the number of deaths, and the number of affected countries climb even higher. WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock, and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic.